Oops. Sorry. Wait a minute. Got to get organized here. Okay. And do you, is Raymond here to get me my telegram? Okay, hi everybody. I'm proud to be joined by Senators Murray, Cardin, and Gillibrand. We had a great lunch. We discussed the whole supplemental situation at some length and many other subjects. Now look, Senate Democrats have been clear. The right and only path forward is bipartisanship. We must stand with our allies in Israel. We must send humanitarian aid to innocent civilians in Gaza. We must hold the line against Vladimir Putin by supporting Ukraine, and we must rebuff the aggressions of the Chinese Communist Party in the Indo-Pacific. The best, most efficient, and fastest way to help is through bipartisanship. In fact, it's the only way. And that's why I was so deeply disappointed by Speaker Johnson's first major legislative action, a purely partisan action. House Republicans released a partisan and woefully inadequate package with no aid to Ukraine, no humanitarian assistance for Gaza, no funding for Indo-Pacific, and poison pills that help wealthy tax cheats avoid paying their fair share. And the irony of it all is their whole idea with pay for is to reduce the deficit. This poison pill increases the deficit. Their price for helping Israel and abandoning America's responsibilities around the globe, making it much easier for the ultra-rich to cheat on their taxes. How the heck could that be their highest priority? It's only when the hard right governs the Republican caucus. All friends of Israel should say loudly and clearly that any move to make the U.S.-Israel relationship a partisan one is a move that hurts Israel. The House GOP package is woefully inadequate has the hard right's fingerprints all over it, making aid to Israel, who just faced the worst terrorist attack in history contingent on poison pills that help ultra-wealthy tax cheats. It's insulting that the hard right is openly trying to exploit the crisis in Israel and try to reward the ultra-rich. The new speaker knows perfectly well that if you want to truly help Israel, you can't propose legislation that's filled with poison pills. And this kind of unnecessary partisan legislation sends the wrong message to our allies and adversaries around the world. We need bipartisanship and not partisan gamesmanship. It's almost as if the real goal of the House GOP is not to help Israel, but rather to get tax relief for the super wealthy while leaving out Ukraine, humanitarian aid for Gaza, and funding for the Indo-Pacific. Again, I t say to Speaker Johnson, I plead with him, don't repeat the mistake of McCarthy and others and just follow the hard right in a partisan way. It's not good for the country. It's not good for the House. It's not even good for the Republican Party. I hope he will change his ways. And the last thing Republicans in Congress should be doing is what they have done exploiting the crisis, not trying to solve it. Senator Murray.